uh, all the Santa's mains, really. Yes, I'm just excited to see. I'm more excited to honestly see Ridley's. Oh, it really uh, Because too. Ridley trailer, can man. just, like, destroy a stock in a matter of seconds. Oh, that forward air. The forward air. Just, like, the, the down B into down smash. Oh. Or down B into, like, anything. I, I, if I don't see at least one skewer on stream this weekend, uh, I will be very disappointed. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. I really want to see how he's going to play around the charge shot, being a character that has a, ref a reflector. Mm -hmm. No. But, uh, now, when I was watching Quick on Wednesday, because uh, Quick did go to Wednesday Night Fights, and I know exactly like these two don't play exactly the same, but he was the way he was using the charge shot, especially with like wave bounce and B reversals, uh, he was really mixing up recovery and using charge shot like hit distances that you wouldn't normally suspect a Samus to use. Yeah, that uh, being able to jump out of the charge shot in this game for Samus and Dark Samus has just made them such a different character. Like, it improves their move mobility so much, as you can see right there. Uh, he cancels the charge shot with the jump and immediately throwing out the aerials. Mm -hmm. Like, it just makes her much more mobile than she was before, which is really interesting to see. And also very hard to deal with when they're just yes. mixing up the timing so well. Exactly, especially like being able to use it with the B reversal. It's almost a, a way to use immediately turn around and then now back air is a threat uh, yeah. that you have at your disposal. Like using a dash attack, Chad going to be whipping and now YB slowly approaching the ledge. Yeah, one good thing about Palutena in this matchup, though, is that uh, Samus is a character that gets comboed really hard, and Palutena's aerials are all really good for comboing, especially that neutral air. Mm -hmm. So it, as long as he can space himself in the range where he can connect that, he's going to have a really good time. Uh, it's really going to be up to YB to keep him at that distance where he won't have to worry about these aerials and just keep his zone up with the projectiles. Okay, well, that charge shot does a lot of shield damage, as you can see, and Chag retreating to the other side of the stage. Making sure that his shield gets a little bit more health before he decides to approach again. Okay, what's the ledge trap here? That down is really strong, but the neutral get up into the back throw. Let's see what the trap here is getting the bombs out just to make it so hard to deal with that up tilt. Super, super strong in this game. That's right. And, uh, the added pressure from the bomb makes it much more likely that she'll connect that. Ooh, oh, yeah. Sneaking in a charge shot and even uh, following up with a Zare. Oh, yeah. The charge shot at low percent is so good for comboing. Potentially, if you get like a charge shot to like a, a grab, you can get like a zero, like a 50%. Uh, well, as you can see, Chag already sitting at 59 on his second stock. While YB slowly takes his time, making it getting back to stage, but a spot dodge will make that grab whip, but a explosive flame does connect. Nice positioning with the bomb. Just drifts back just slightly, make his recovery safe. And it also interrupted Chag's up air, too. Yeah, that's so something that Samus has to abuse because her landings otherwise are very easy to just uh, shark. Mm -hmm. And uh, being able to drift with that bomb and throw out a hitbox is, uh, it makes it so you can land a little bit safer. Oh, throwing out the counter. That does act as a reflector. So Chag does have the right idea, but using the bombs to cover the ledge, oh, very yeah, smart. Oh, these bombs so tricky. Uh, again, I really like the movement with the uh, wave bounce uh, charge shot. Mm -hmm. He's just going slightly out of range for these hitboxes, but the neutral are finally taking the stock. Already at 122%. Samus is that character that, especially if you get the stock lead, can mm -hmm. just slowly chip at you uh, over <laughs> and over with these projectiles. And as you can see, just 100. Wow, whiffing the S smash, but a bomb does connect. And that's what I'm talking about. Did you see the distance that he used charge shot? He was literally in Chag's face. Yeah. How often in, in previous iterations of this game would Samus use charge shot at that distance, especially when it's not fully charged? Oh, and the screw attack out of shield. Again, yeah, I like that you bring up, again, the mix up that you can do out of charge shot now make it so much uh, more versatile than it was before. I feel like charge shot is really putting this character on the map. Oh, yeah, nice. Got the charge shot into the dash attack, continuing the pressure up air for her, sending them off stage again, setting up the pressure with the bomb, trying to get the uh, ledge cancel. It looked like he was reading that. But yeah, wow, he, he's still going. Yeah, he did read it, but Chag was able to interrupt uh, the damage just a little bit. But only for YB to answer right back. Now we see these ledge traps coming from Chag, or Chag able to escape the ledge, ledge trap. Oh, nice position. Again, the shield pressure that the charge shot does is so good. Because even though he does it like really close to him, since he's stuck in shield, he gets a free uh, poke pretty much. Mm -hmm. Well, we do see the Nair connecting and using the bomb to escape the up air from Chag. Nice, gets the roll, but no strong dash attack. Man, might be just staying at that perfect distance. Oh, trying to go with a mix up, see if you get the shield poke with the back air, but Chad getting set up here. Just right outside of the explosive flame with the bomb again. Oh! More setups, more setups at the ledge, and the bomb will actually convert into the up smash. The back hit was enough to just reach. Wow. 
that was an insane ledge trap into that up smash. Why be <laughs> not disappointing with the Samus? Uh, and again, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought up Quick earlier because it's really interesting to see the difference between Quick's like really amazing Samus, by the way, as well, yes. and uh, YB. Uh, number one in Germany, right? Yes, I believe so. So it's, this character is uh, underrated and has a versatile way that uh, you can play the character. Yes. So it's not just one style that works. Because I believe I, I believe I remember Quick using the missiles a lot more than YB is doing, yeah. uh, which could just be the fact like that YB or that Chag had access to a counter, and that's why he doesn't want to throw out like maybe too many projectiles. Yeah. But at the same time, YB didn't really need to. <laughs> yeah, it's just the way he's using the charge shot at these distances. It's not. It wasn't hard. It wasn't uh, easy for him to just uh, commit to using the reflector. So now we're seeing the switch to Inkling. Inkling. Uh, really good combo character. Samus is a character that once uh, you know get on, uh, get in on her with a character like Inkling is gonna be really hard. Mm -hmm. But YB just shown that you know what, getting in on me is gonna be really really difficult. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as as soon oh. as as a Chag is able to get a grab or convert off a nair or forward air, then yes, he's gonna be able to put some numbers onto YB. Uh, but I'm really gonna see. I'm really concerned to see if Chag is actually going to be able to kill with Inkling because, as you know, Inkling is a setup character. Yeah. If she doesn't set up for her kills, she has she struggles to get them. Yeah. Uh, Chag is very consistent with the uh, buffered up throw up air to get the kill, but getting that grab on a character like YB not gonna be uh, easy at all. Yeah, we see a lot more cover, like cross up back airs being thrown out than uh, actual grab attempts. But that up tilt uh, covers. I think that covers uh, below the ledge, or it, it at least two frames. Oh, wow! And that definitely else two, two frames. frames <laughs> down so amazing timing. YB is uh, putting on the pressure right now. Again, I love that wave bounce charge shot to get right under him with the up airs. The oh. Movement is so tricky to get past. Yeah, but we see a parry into down tilt. It's going to put a little bit of damage. Now falling forward air, putting uh, more damage onto YB, but. It's Character is so slippery. Yeah, I think Chags was trying to see how he's moving and then you know adapt from there, but I don't know. It's really difficult. Nice use of the splat bomb though, mm -hmm. but we have these bombs we can stall. Other characters will be in such a bad spot for getting hit by that, but not Samus. I mean, he even like he's even jumping off stage and then just resorting to zaring back to the ledge. Like he is in no danger of of just like falling off the stage and losing his stock. Yeah, I really like the patience, but we got the roller classic. Once in 35, not too bad. Evening up that uh, stock count right here. But uh, again, I really want to see how uh, Chag's going to get in, just really take advantage of Inkling's damage output. That's the start, near to the jab. Mm -hmm. okay. And that does put a good amount of ink onto YB as well, but will Chag be able to use the ink that's on him? At the moment, he's really letting Chag set up. Ink is now gone. Yeah, that, was really, see, yeah that, that was really interesting. Like uh, like you said, he, he got ink on him, but then he just hid back and just let him got the charge shot. I thought he was going to use that opportunity to go more aggressive. And I think oh. I think uh, YB may have been expecting that because that's... Uh, oh, he's, ooh, the he double roller. setups from Chag. That's what I was wanting to see, man. Chag setups with the roller are some of the best I've seen. And that's a great way to get back in this game. Huge lead now. That's right. Even taking the moment to get back all the, all the ink. Now YB's got to be careful of so many things, especially the roller coming out. But wow, dash attacks from right before the roller hitbox can come out. Now oh. at this position, you know YB is looking for the stock, oh. pulling him right out of the roller. Yeah, grab him right out of the air. Try to get that bomb up, smash up again. Not going to get the timing correct, and uh, just back thrown right off the stage. Chad getting the stock lead for the first time in the set. Mm -hmm. See what you can do here. Oh. YB able to land up down air and oh. rolling oh. into oh. that charge shot, but using directional air dodge. Oh, but a second shot. Time. Dang, he didn't let him breathe. <laughs> he, even he even stopped his momentum with the directional air dodge, but it wasn't enough to keep his second stock online. Chad didn't start here, though. That's the uh, inkling combos out of the throw that you're used to seeing at low percent. Trying to go for a bomb set up here. Nice covers the roll with the charge shot, but not able to follow up. Oh. Okay, I must have still been in the air when the roller came out because YB didn't get grounded. Another roller comes out, but back air gonna be able to outspace the roller. And now oh, nice a Nair on connecting onto Chag. Really close cool situation here for both players. Chag throwing out the roller a little bit more liberally now. He knows he can get a really good setup if it connects. But uh, YB looking like he's waiting for it. He's trying to see if he can meet him in the air. Okay. And YB staring back to the stage. 
And now back air does connect. Oh, or is he looking for the charge shot? But the landing hitbox tech chase here. No, goes back. Oh man, so scary. Yeah. YB just called out the wrong punish for the roller. With roller, you do stay in front of your opponent. It looked like YB was looking for the cross oh, up. The mix up. Oh my goodness, so scary for both players. Double jumping right over that roller. Oh, they're both just baiting each other in mid range so well, but they don't want to commit to anything too crazy. But the pivot grab back throw. All right. And this is going to put Chag in even worse position than oh, before. The bomb look. Hit him just slightly. Oh, covered the jump with the weak there. And oh. Chag is actually losing uh, losing options the longer it takes to get back to stage. Gets the up throw, chases with the up air, and not able to land, but a charge shot lands onto Chag. All right, super close right now. Covers the roll again with the screw attack this time. So good at conditioning these defensive options with the bomb That's at the right. ledge. So good from YB taking that one 2-0. And if, if that is just a preview of what we have to look forward to tomorrow, oh, man, oh, I am man, so I, excited. All the hype Samus plays dude, are going to come out. And YV's bracket is actually insane to uh, get to top eight. So really? first he has to play Wadi, okay. then uh, Larry, Ooh. then Light, Ooh. then Nairo. And that's all to wow. get, just to get top eight winners. Yo, that's...